So uh, I'm back again, and um, I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that, um, well, that I was uh, working on some kind of project, and I want to show you how it turned out. And it's, I think it's pretty awesome if you, if you ask me. So uh, yeah, well, let's go look inside and. Uh, We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so this is my little entrance. Um, I've got red, red carpet at the floor. Well, it's actually all but who cares. And uh, when we go inside, we walk straight to the incinerator, and this is my. This is my lava room or incinerator. It's it's pretty much almost done, except for some details I still have to finish. But um, I think I'm pretty pretty satisfied with the overall result. So um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I like this that that it's you know it's not a straight line. It it kind of has these curves. I love it. So uh, this is pretty much what I've been doing. Some stoves as well, uh, furnaces on me. And uh, here we have a, a, an entrance to the mob spawner cave, which is uh, all the way over there. I just started digging and kind of, yeah, expected to to end up over there. And uh, it took a bit longer than I thought, but eventually I did. And this is also one of my little jewels now, the lava stairs. I just love it. I just love the lava stairs. They look so awesome. Especially when you come up to the lava stairs and you, you get into the, get into, you know, the, the, the incinerator room. Uh, why do I call it the incinerator? Well, uh, it has a very good reason. Imagine I want to get rid of some dirt. I can just throw it in there, and it's gone. I just love it because you, you sometimes you just have to clean up your inventory, and uh, well, this is the, the perfect way to do it. And um, well, I love these details as well. Just added them in, just because I could. Oh, that's not supposed to be here. Oh, there we go. And um, well, there's still some some resources in the in the walls and in the ceilings and well, pretty much everywhere. But um, yeah, and and I like what I did with the floor. You know, you can see the, see the pattern. And this is actually the 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 entrance to the spooky cave, which is all the way at the end. And I can show you how far away that is. But it's a long, long way. So, yeah, well, this is it, actually. Um, There's actually a lot of stuff around here. How did it get here? Oh, well, anyway, um, this is some some terrain I still have to explore, actually. Uh, so um, yeah, well, so I have to do that. Okay, well, let's go all the way back again. <laughs> And there we are again. So let's just close the door. And then there's the guest room. Because um, now I've been playing with a friend as well. And I think it's it's only possible to play with up to four friends. So um, I made um, a special guest room. All lava themed, actually. With four beds. And um, 
and some, uh, well, <laughs> I kind of want to see them as nightstands, but yeah, you, you know what they are. But uh, I think it's pretty cool like this, and uh, I like the lava things as well, and it lights up the room without torches, and that's pretty cool as well. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy about this. And also something about this floor we, we've got here. Um, what I did to, to light up the place, because uh, it only has these lava things and but no torches on the wall, is that I put the torches right under there. So right right there, uh, under the... So you can barely see them, but it still lights up the room, which is pretty cool actually, or the hallway in this case. So uh, yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty happy about that as well. So uh, it's not really a big surprise like this, but, but yeah. Well, this is pretty much what I've been working on. I'm also gonna go back um, go back to making the tutorials, uh, which is pretty much more for the beginners. So uh, maybe it's not not really your cup of tea, but or maybe it is. I don't know. But um, anyway, this is what I've been doing. Um, besides. Um, Obviously, <laughs> it, when you see it, it makes sense. Uh, beside making as many red sheep as possible, I still have to dye those. By the way, um, might as well just do it. At least I did something in the video this way. You can you can dye a sheep with uh, with rose red, and you can get that from roses, and you put it in the in the crafting box, and it gives you the the. the rose red so uh, that's just how it works and what you can do is you can paint your your sheet so you can have all sorts of uh, all sorts of colors and stuff wool. oh I like this detail as well by the way I have to put the water uh, on top of the on top of the incinerator so uh, it kind of mixes up the, the lava with uh, with water. I think it was cool. Ah, it doesn't. Yeah. Just pushed into the, pushed into the water. Uh, was it you? <laughs> run, run, run for your life. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Uh, I always, uh, I also try to uh, to make a mob spawner, but for some reason it doesn't really give me the results. But uh, apparently there's a, a specific hike you have to work on to, to make it work best. And I didn't really look that up. And I just started trying. So, um, yeah. I'm not so sure this is ever going to work. Even though it's 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 perfect on the inside, by the way. Um, it, it works with water, water streams that, um, that, that flow all the way to the end. And, um, but don't, don't go down the hole. And uh, the zombies or whatever is in there doesn't really have any way to any any way to go. But for some reason, it just doesn't work. So uh, I might want to fix that, and maybe not. I don't know yet. For now, I'm just uh, happy with my tiny blue shed uh, with my my own bed. I mean, the guest rooms are uh, the guest room is actually better than my own one, but uh, it's not. As if I can't sleep in the guest room, so uh, it's not really that much of a problem. So uh, this is pretty much what I've been doing, and uh, well, I hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, well, if if you did, please give me a thumbs up or or and or subscribe to my channel. It's really appreciated. Uh, comment on my videos, um, ask me stuff. Uh, maybe if you wanna see me do something or whatever just uh, just throw it out there and I'll see what I can do so uh, thanks for watching and well we'll see you uh, I'll see you next time